hello in this video i'll tell you how to create a simple bods job so this is how it looks like when you open a bods tool this is a, just to begin with you must have a project first so how do you create it go to this projects tab see it's projects you see it here projects uh, jobs workflows data flows transforms data tra data stores formats and functions so this in here right click and say new let's name it a uh, basic job basic job project create this appears here now right click on it and say add a new batch job let's name it again jb underscore basic hmm. so a standard, uh, standard practice is to have a workflow first Let's name it WF. Then inside it, have a data flow. Because if you see, when I, uh, right now we are into a workflow, workflow, we are into workflow. You won't see these options enabled. Queries, tables, transport. These are not available here. And even a web data flow, or you can't even drag and drag and drop these things here. So this is still in the previous mode. Let me. Okay, so you can't even drag and drop anything here. This is a workflow just acts as a container here for this. So you can't do anything here unless you have a data flow. Just bring in here, rename it data flow. Now you see all these things enabled when once I enter into this data flow. You see this enabled? Correct. This is not enabled because once you have a HubApp data flow, this will be enabled. And scripts, can, uh, they are placed outside the data flow or inside the workflow. And these again are the workflows. This conditional workflow and loop try catch these are outside data flow so uh, to for a job i'll have a simple row generator it will be easier for you to understand it's because it's just a matter of creating a job i'll use this thing row generator and let the name be as it is have a query i'm not going to change any names for it so map now for this you need to have a table just bring a temp it's called template table because it's created and dropped at the moment you execute a job table name let it be table underscore basic basic underscore job i'll choose a data store as staging because it's point to development sql now you need to make a change here the function of this is to generate the rows with the required number of rows so row number starts at this is an initial point i'll have it from one and up to what I want it till hundred. So I don't want to join rank because it's a single. Uh, it's a single entity present as a source, so there is no join rank required. And I don't want to cache it. So I let this as it is. Inside query, you must drag this to the output side, because you must have something on the output side. Otherwise, let's see. It's an error. It says no columns defined for the target schema. You must have at least one output column. So this is how you uh, bring it here by drag and drop or you can right click and say map to output you can do it for multiple inputs as well if you have so many rows here so many columns here you can just select all of them with the shift button right click and say map to output done so i don't want this and it's not necessary it's not mandatory to bring in these uh, in uh, these input side columns to the output side you can have anything other than this say let's remove this as I said it will throw an error it throws an error saying no columns you can have any random column here new column let it be as it is then you have a column but you must map it to something I'll say map so error is gone so I just I just told you how can you uh, how can you map it so just remove this or you can remap it just bring it over this it will ask for you to is it insert above below or remap your data type i'll say remap call if you remap column only the column name column will map not the data type if it's a varchar it will be into int if it's a int if it's a varchar it int into varchar so this is what happens i'll say remap your data type if you do this the same will be replicated here okay. since they are in you didn't see anything any change here so row generation now execute the job so to validate just click on it 
execute the job you can do it from here execute or you can do from here output will have 100 rows 100 rows let's just make some change I want to append system date to it. Say how can I append? Just add two pipes and say says date. You have a built-in function. So it will hold Y Y Y Y M M D D and timing as well. So if you append it, the system date will appear with this. Just run this now. And say it's int, you must have varchar because system date will have dot as well, dot and space. So if you don't uh, do it a varchar, what happens is you will get a row generator output and only the year number here because it's an integer so integer will accept it so first it will say 10 30 run It's a uh, delay in opening. Oh, okay, connection error. Just rerun it. No, this time it's fine. Done. So it have hundred rows. The numbers are appended with date. One C one. This is a row generator output. One two three four integers. So just differentiate it. It will be easy for you to understand. Let's add a quote. Just again two pipes because you are appending quote double underscores then again a quote. Now it will be easier for you to understand the output. Done. Let's refresh. Let's see, this is how it looks like. This is how you can uh, build a simple job. In the query, uh, see it's, it's mapped to something so it's highlighted with uh, this symbol these are not so you have done nothing here if you had done something here this color will appear like say if I say we have an apply filter where dro is equals to it's an int I'll say one see the color has changed right it has given you a symbol so when if this I want to tell you that if there is something like this that means you have done something with this you have done you have done something with the function so one now what happens is you just have one row where this satisfies this condition the is equals to one so you'll have only one row at the upper level so this is how you can build a simple job one okay there's some problem but it's there's only one because if you see here this table basic last one is the latest one so table basic it's one the order is always the immediate query and the table name here the immediate query is query and the table name is tb underscore basic so there's only one row here so this is how you can build a simple DODS job as a beginner it will be helpful for you just start with this over a period of time you'll understand how to create the multiple complex jobs so thank you so much for watching i think i made it a bit clear to you you can proceed with your test you are uh, you can uh, proceed with some other transformations as well i'll upload some videos after this so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe have a good day